Welcome, I'm Jenny Carroll, Library Director with the Mary Riley Stiles Public Library. I'm going to share my screen with you. The library mission is to provide and promote open access to reading, educational, recreational, cultural, intellectual, and information resources that enrich and enlighten all segments of our community. The library budget is $2,139,956 for expenditures, and we will receive approximately $157,662 in state aid, which supports purchasing items for the physical and digital collection. Our full-time equivalent permanent positions total 20.15, which translates into 31 staff members, as many of our staff are part-time. The library also has temporary staff, which includes, when fully staffed, five pages who shelve books and six service desk substitutes. The library is expected to be fully staffed when open to the public in the new building. Our priority in FY22 is opening and operating the newly renovated and expanded library to the public and to continue, provide, to, continue to provide excellent service despite a frozen discretionary budget for the past six years and the continued impacts of COVID-19. Historically, the library has enjoyed a high rate of circulation of materials, visitors, and participation in programs. We would expect that trend to continue and potentially increase with some estimates doubling the rate of circulation for a new building. Within the budget, funds have been adjusted to cover the cost of operating the building. We are relying on estimates based on models rather than past performance. And as such, costs may differ from the initial estimates. In FY22, we will be establishing that baseline for many costs, including utilities, supplies, and other maintenance needs. The addition of a part-time custodial position will help address the impact of the increased number of bathrooms, square footage, and anticipated usage. With no other increase to staffing or to non-personnel related costs, we will need to be mindful when adding programs or services. We will continue to provide materials, programs, and services, including increasing physical and digital collections, adding to adult programming, and supporting regular hours for the local history room. As part of our commitment to equity, the library will be eliminating printing and copying charges for the first 10 copies. In addition, we will continue to evaluate and diversify our collection, update policies, and improve recruiting and hiring as part of our ongoing equity, diversity, inclusion, and social justice work. The library unmet needs include a full-time technology librarian to serve as a liaison between the library and the city ITS department, and to provide leadership and vision in planning and developing the library's technological growth. Currently, these responsibilities are divided among many staff members in the library. Other needs include increasing expenses related to supplies, utilities, and maintenance by $9,000, and to restore the reductions that occurred in FY20 and FY21 related to technology and training. There have been many changes in the past year to the building and how we deliver services. We hope that council and the public are as excited as we are about the future of the library.